Hi everybody, this is The Last Patriot here, coming to you today with a short video about the compass. Okay, now most of us know that a compass can you be used to determine direction. Generally the, uh, the red needle, every compass pretty much has a red needle and a white needle. The red needle will point towards magnetic north, which is not exactly geographic north, but it's pretty close. Uh, the magnetic north pole is in northern Canada, a little bit west of where the geographic north pole would be. But for simple navigation, it's, it's not really a big difference. The difference is called magnetic declination. And if you look at a map, some uh, ge uh, topographic maps, I'm getting uh, bombed by bugs here. Um, some topographic maps will have the magnetic declination reading on it, and I'll tell you to add or subtract a certain amount of degrees. But for simple navigation, it's, it's not really a big deal. Um, so this is this is a little bit of a fancy compass. It has a magnifying glass here. You can probably use that to start a fire. Or it also helps you uh, read small features on a map if you uh, your eyes aren't as good as they used to be, like mine. And this has this is a ruler on it. It has um, you know it has rubber feet on it, so it doesn't slide on the map. But that that stuff that doesn't really matter. Uh, some fancy compasses have a cover. They'll have an extra an extra crosshair on it, they'll have a mirror, but for simple navigation, a very simple compass, all you need to know is where north is, and that's where the red needle is pointing. This glow-in-the-dark dial, that's for taking a bearing, sometimes called an azimuth. If you don't know what that is, you don't really need to know what it is. Um, and when, when I'm hiking somewhere, or when I'm hunting or hiking somewhere unfamiliar, I'll check the compass frequently because there can be iron deposits in the ground that can give you a false reading. So if I'm really, if I'm really uh, a little bit concerned about getting lost, I'll check the compass maybe as much as every 50 feet just to make sure I'm really, if I do get lost, it won't be that far and I can just go back to my last known point and, you know, reorient myself. So um, that, that's basically how a compass works. And you can practice in a controlled environment uh, wherever you live so you know that you're not going to get lost and get a map of the area. It could be a topographical map. You could just print a satellite picture off the internet and just get used to orienting yourself. And don't forget, if you're lost, if you're really out in the woods and you get lost, you're going to be under a lot of stress. You're going to be scared. I've been lost in Yellowstone. It was pretty scary. So get used to being, uh, you know, get comfortable with using a compass so you can whip it out, find that red needle. You know that's north um, and whether you have to get back to your uh, your base camp, your home, your car, whatever it is, uh, if you're prepared, you'll have a map. And you know, w once you know the direction, you you know, we, we have another video about uh, about orienteering. But basically, if you know the direction, you should you should be able to get home. Um, one other thing, if you're out hunting or not hunting, or if if you're carrying a gun, a uh, shotgun or a rifle, they they have a lot of metal in them. I like to keep my compass. Most of them come, with, some of them come with a lanyard. I keep it on a lanyard and I tie it to a belt loop. So uh, if I'm if I'm carrying a shotgun or a rifle, I can take my take the compass out, extend it out to arm's length, get it three feet or so away from the gun, and uh, make sure I don't get a false reading from the steel in the gun. And you can test that if you uh, you know any of you, any of you if you have shotguns and rifles, put take a reading and then put the compass right next to the gun and see if it changes. You might get a little variation. So uh, that's basically it. There's a million kinds of compasses, but just, um, you know, get one from a, uh, a reputable company. This one is made in Finland. It's kind of hard to see, but the name is Suntu, S-U-U-N-T-O. Uh, there are a lot of, a lot of compasses are made in Finland. Compasses or compi? A lot of compasses are made in Finland. Um, Brunton, is, I believe, is made in America. But really, any, any functional compass, just test it in advance. Oh, and the other thing, compass is one of the most one of the most important survival tools you can have when I'm out in the field I carry at least two and usually three or four because if you don't get lost that'll eliminate most problems you won't be you won't really be in a survival situation if you don't get lost so I have one in my pocket I have in the rest of my pack sometimes in my jacket but knives compasses uh, lighters you know some way to make fire you can't have too many of those so, um, all right, so check out our other video on uh, orienteering and navigation. That's a basic video, uh, a basic video about how to use a compass. If you have this dial, some, some compasses, most of them come with it. But I have this, I managed to orient it so 
the needle is kind of pointing north. It's almost north. And you have, you have the other four uh, cardinal points. Uh, but if you know north, if you know where north is, that, that's basically all you need to know. All right, so uh, thanks for joining us today. We'll be coming at you with more videos in the future. And remember, always be prepared. Last Patriot, signing off.